So today, tomorrow, still need to be weather aware, but okay. Good news is this pattern is going to flip-flop by Friday. Okay. So it's all right. almost That's through. That's good. We're almost done with this very active stormy pattern. But before we are on Friday, we still have a couple of rounds of storms, as you just heard Julia mention. Right now, let's take you up to Lafayette, Tippecanoe, and Montgomery counties. And while this is not a severe storm, it is certainly packing a punch. We have some heavy rainfall, frequent lightning with this. No hail has been indicated. But what I do want you to know that this is falling and moving at about 40 miles per hour off to the east. So as it tracks its way closer to Frankfurt on into Lebanon, uh, potentially adding to the threat of some low-lying flooding, as we have seen over the past 24 hours. This will be moving into Frankfurt by 431 on into Lebanon by 438 and then on into Kokomo as it continues to track to the east just before 5 o'clock this morning. This is just the very beginning of a widespread cluster of showers and storms, all of which that are sub uh, below severe limits this morning. So that's a good thing as we get our day started. But still, just a ton of moisture that's going to fall on top of an already saturated ground. I believe our primary threat for today, yes, we talk about the, the potential of some damaging wind gusts, potentially hail as well. But I'm leaning more toward that flooding threat being an issue for today, even into tomorrow. So there's that cluster of storms that's moving through now. Depends on how long it lasts. Looks like at least through around noon, 1 o'clock this morning. Could really limit the development of storms this afternoon, which would actually be a good thing. If we could limit any chance of severe weather, we'll certainly take it. Now, as we get into our Thursday, rain's going to be likely. The potential of thunder is possible, although a low severe threat tomorrow as we are going to sit on the backside of a cold front. And then that pattern finally changes Friday into early Saturday, finally looking at some dry time and cooler, less humid, going to feel good outside as well. Now, the Storm Prediction Center does still have the entire state under that level two of five for the potential of some strong to severe storms. If they redevelop this afternoon, at this point, the newest model data suggesting that potentially we don't see them de developing because of how much rain we are expecting this morning. Should they develop, though, damaging wind and hail will be the primary threats for today. And, of course, we are also... Uh, really focusing on that flash flooding potential as well as lightning for any outdoor plans you might have. Let's take you through the next several hours as that rain works its way in now. Looks to stick with us at least through lunchtime today. This is at noon. Eventually we'll get in on some dry time, but really not uh, allowing the atmosphere much time whatsoever to recover before we're forecasting potentially some more pop-up storms later in the day today. Could see them develop between about 5 and 7 p.m. Still want you to stay weather aware because should these initiate, uh, certainly could pack a punch and reach severe limits. Now we're talking the widespread rain into Thursday. This takes us into the overnight hours through Thursday morning. Rain certainly going to be most likely during the first part of the day today, and our temperatures will start to change as we spend our day Thursday only in the 70s. We're back to sunshine on Friday, 77. Another quick wave going to move through this weekend, Saturday night into Sunday. All the rain chances from here on out are going to be quite limited as we start next week out on a dry note. Seasonal temperatures in the 70s.